right, this is a video for questions on problems from uh, section 3.2. The first question was on problem 15. It says, for the graph of each function, find the approximate intervals on which the function is increasing and on which it is decreasing. So we try to find um, maybe the max here. Seems like it changes directions here. And here would be a, a min. So I would say it is decreasing from negative infinity to maybe negative 2.5. Then from negative 2.5 to zero, it's increasing. Then from zero to maybe one and three quarters, it's decreasing. And one and three quarters to infinity, it would be increasing. All right, that's number 15. Number 17, ask the question, graph each function and find the approximate intervals on which it is increasing, decreasing, and constant. So I'm actually gonna go to my calculator. I'm adding my calculator here. All right, so I'm gonna turn it on. I'll go to my calculator. I'm gonna go to Y equals clear out what I have and I'm going to graph the function okay it's the absolute value so to get the absolute value remember it's math num abs and it's x minus 1 x minus 1 minus the absolute value minus the absolute value of x plus 1, x plus 1. All right, I'm going to go look at my window, and I'm going to change it from negative 10 to 10, negative 10 to 10, and I'm going to graph it. All right. So it looks like it's constant up until this point. I could really just hit trace. I think that's at one. I think that is at one. So I'm going to come in closer. I'm gonna change my window. I'm gonna change my X min to negative five and to positive five see if I can get closer yeah so it's constant from negative infinity to negative one it's decreasing from negative one to positive one then it's constant from positive one to infinity so that's 17. number 23 says graph each function estimate all the local maximums and minimums again I'm going to get my calculator all right I'm going to go to y equals, clear out what I have. I'm going to put in x cubed minus x in y sub 1, x cubed minus x. I'm, I, my window's a little small, so I'm going to go back from negative 10 to positive 10. And let's see what it looks like. I've got to see the maxes and the mins. It's a cubic equation. All right, I'm going to go in closer here. So I am going to change my window my, to negative 5. Should have left it, huh? All right, and see it. And I can see it better. All right, so I'm going to do second, second, trace. My first one is a maximum. So I'm going to go find my maximum. Here's the maximum. So I'm going to move my cursor. I'm watching my y. It's 0 0.234, 0 0.079. So that's going up, 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 down. So I'm going to go back to, that's the left bound. I'm going to go back right to, that's my right bound, and guess. All right, so my max is point, negative point, Five seven seven, so negative point five seven seven is my max. Now I'm going to go find the min. So I do second trace 
min. And again, I'm watching my um, Y values. We're going down, 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 still down, still down. Wait. Okay. So that went back up. So I'm going to go before. That's my left bound. Over. That's my right bound. And guess. All right. So my minimum is, huh, minimum is um, 5.577. All right. And that was it for number 23. Number 27 is the same thing. Find the maxes and the mins. So I'm going to put that equation in my calculator. Go back to y equals. Clear it out. And the equation is for 27 x cubed. X cubed. I know I'm shaking. Minus 1.8 x squared plus x plus 2. So I've got it in my calculator. And now I'm going to graph it. I'm staying in there. I want my maxes and my mins. There we go. It's the third degree. I see right here is probably a max, and here's a min. So I'm going to do the same thing. Second, trace my maxes first. So I'm going to go look at my max. Looking at my marker, I'm at um, y equals 2. I'm going down up, 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 wait, okay, see I went down there, so I'm going to go back, enter, back, enter, and my guess is, my maximum is at point four three six seven. I'm going to go see if there's a min. So I'm going to do second trace, and I'll go do min. All right, so my y is going down, 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 up. All right, so that's left bound, right bound, guess. So there's my minimum. My minimum is at 0 .763. All right, so that's 27. All right, 